How's it going, guys? Welcome back to the Blue Shifting, and welcome back to Steins Gate, not Mudluff. I'm sorry. <laughs> Here we are today, going over some of the experiments we went through last time. We were able to actually get the phone wave to actually start transmitting data through time again, and it's a five-day increment, which is interesting, because all the CERN experiments we've read about so far had no way of displacing something at a measured time. So we've got something down that helps us do it consistently. Albeit, it is just a message rather than a physical body. So I'm sure CERN has figured out more about this than we have out right now. But um, yeah, it's Operation Erd, and we're going to be seeing what happens next, honestly. Like, I don't really know. I'm, I'm worried primarily about the fact that I think there are people who are paying attention. Suzaha, I think, is she's involved in a very odd way. Remember, she had that very adverse reaction to uh, Kirisu. So, uh, there's something to that. I personally think she might have been sent from the future, possibly to try and stop John Titor, but we don't know. Um, the other thing that's odd is that how when we made our most our biggest discoveries, we'd opened the window and forgotten about it. And so I imagine that's going to play a part again. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's just get right into it and see what happens. So well, this is the, the DNA experiments. Da, 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 da. All right, let's go. During that time, every D-mail goes back in time without a hitch. Now it's time to take a break. We're all hungry, and except for Miyuri, we've all been we all we've been up since last night. I'm sure, they're all exhausted. Holy crap. Are you serious? You're going. Cra you're working so crazy. She's been going at it for hours, and she's still full in full of energy. It's hard to believe that she was so opposed to time travel research before. Well, she was opposed to it because she literally had been told her entire career that there was no possible way it could happen, and now she's found proof that it can and that it does. And so, of course, she's excited. Good grief! Like this is, like. She pursued this career, and unless she was forced into it, this is her passion. Like, of course, she's gonna be absolutely mad about it. I would be. I don't even have. I'm not like. I'm. I'm obsessed with the type of science that's involved here. If I could get my hands on something like this, it would be amazing. I would probably get killed by a secret, op secret operative, but I would enjoy myself till then. Her scientist's blood must be on fire. We made a number of discoveries, but we could, but we can wait to assess them until after we eat. Daru and I leave the two girls to watch over the lab as we go shopping at the convenience store. Okay, so what ha what's going to happen here? Ah, we return from the convenience store to find Bron Tube Workshop one and only part-time warrior standing in front of the building. She's stretching. Aw, but that's cute. This. Yep. She notices me and calls out without stopping her exercises. I'm getting food. <laughs> Sh shenanigans. I think shenanigans. This girl is the thing for unusual words. It's a good word, though. Why? 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 Why would you say this if you were actually going to? Like maybe you just take for a cap, take for granted that everyone just takes like so it takes what you say with a grain of salt. But still, I would be like, shh, shh, shh. Aww, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe unless she's expecting it to happen. Ma, believe it is natural. I was at first yeah, exactly. Right. I still think she's like the one person who we wouldn't want to find out if we knew where she was from. Part time warrior glasses at the Brown Tube Workshop. Wait, oh, hang on a second. Remember when we first met her? Like, we talked about, like, like, uh, we talked about the organization and how it was, like, coming for us. And she immediately reacted with, like, well, who are they? I'll beat them up for you. Maybe she's been sent here to protect the project to make sure it happens. Interesting. That's an, I, that's an angle I hadn't thought of before. But it would, it, would, it would explain why she got a job here. 
and why she wouldn't be surprised, but she's not very aggressive. She seems very keen on protecting Okabe, but she doesn't like um, Kurisu, so that's interesting. Uh, so black time works, so ground works out. <clears throat> Uh-oh, why? To ほこりが落ちてくるだけじゃなくて実際に揺れるんだよね。爆撃されたみたいに。あ、いや、うう、didn't <笑> じゃあ、しにしばらく実験を止めるように伝えてくれ。うん。了解。あんた今最高に輝いてるよ。I yeah. Come to think of it, she did pick a fight with Christina yesterday. Uh, kind of a dodgy answer right there. That's a strange way of putting it. Yes, sir, it is. Yeah, agent from the future. Oh, no.初めて会ったにしては、やたら敵を剥き出しにしていなかったか。支援だよ。オッケー。ワイ、ワイ。What? お、個人的な恨みがあるということか。もしかし初めて会ったのに。うん、ライト。まあね。何かあったのか。直接はないかな。But <clears throat> ヘビジビス。さあ、なんなら俺がクリスティーナに話をつけてもいい。うん。別にいいって。Right. Right. Huh. Actually, I'm getting cold feet. But I am Hyonin Kyoma, the mad scientist who brings chaos to the world. I can't falter now. I steal myself and enter the bronze two workshop. Part time warrior follows me inside. Mr. Bronze is sitting at the counter side, slurping delivery ramen. Man, I bet delivery ramen in Japan's like way better than even the restaurant ramen here. Even when I enter, he doesn't look away from the huge 42 inch CDRT. It's showing some news sto shows report on some celebrity divorce. That sounds exciting and riveting. Part time warrior doesn't say anything. She's just going to stand there and watch him rip at me a new one. Straight to the punch. He doesn't take his eyes off the TV, nor does he stop slurping his ramen. Yet despite his sedentary posture, he exudes extraordinary pressure. And now is not the time to falter. Right. <clears throat> <laughs> Right. 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 
That would be crazy. Please don't do that. Better keep quiet about the dent on the floor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Brown, yo. Masaka Konobiru. Taishingi so booking the Manakarona. Oh, oh. Dotara donanda. Oh, fetch. Uh, holy crap. <laughs> Maybe we should seek shelter soon. On to Hokyo Kojo Star. Dagana. Ikura Nandamo Omera, you rush Sigida. Right. Konobiru no Hitotsi of Tatsuhoka is Takara Nanda, do you know this? Ah? Wareraga Okonatiru Jikenwa. Nandamo Yuga, Jinri no Kagakshi. Yeah. Jinri no Rexi Sonomono, Nurikariona, so Dina Nayonano. Right. Konobiru or Ato June and Mesa Uh, you're not gonna fly with the owner, but you might be true at this point. The building starts shaking again as soon as I finish speaking. Flakes of concrete start falling from the ceiling. Oh no! The 42 inch CTR's image goes static. Dang it, Daru. What are you doing? I thought I told you to stop experiments. Oh boy. He's glaring at me. Nanka Ochtekazo, Ramen Yhaitarunga, Dusta Grunda. Donikak, Horejo Yurasunjani. Right, then I told Yachingo Ichiman Ageru. Oh, fetch. What? You raised my ten thousand yen, we're ruined. Makaseruga, you, Mr. Brown. Waka may you nikate, Kua mo Yurasanai to Chikao. With that, I race out of the Brown Tube Workshop. How best for me to do it when you're done? When I burst into the lab, I found the three of them in the middle of lunch. Mayuri has juice, juicy chicken number one. Tyler has convenience store box lunch. And Kiris is eating a cup of noodles with a fork. <laughs> oh no, she didn't. <laughs> well, I mean, that, that, oh, that can't be mad at you. Interesting. So, did something happen to the chicken? So, <laughs> あんたにメール届いてるはずだけど見てないの? Oh. Uh, let's find out. Wait, where's my phone? Your sarcasm is not appreciated, Christina. You know well as I do that my phone's still attached to the phone wave name centers to change. Oh, okay, that's why. <laughs> oh, because the, the thing's not in the corner. I just got my phone from the phone wave name center to change while grinding my teeth. Alright, there it is. Okay. Huh. It doesn't look like I have. Oh, there it is. One more, please. One more, please. Who's that kid now? Mr. Brown, you need a mother in law. Order none of the door. Come on, you two Oh, that's evil. Oh, could have seen. I approve. Well, yeah, the time step from five days ago, but. Tencho, what did that? <laughs> oh. Yeah. Dadu turns pale, but the two girls don't seem to care. They know not they know not the wrath of Mr. Braun. Ignorance is bliss. Oh, there we go. No more experiments today. Phone. There we go. Look at go. Um Kyo Samasan, are you familiar with Jiro uh, Frogies. They were a huge fad last year. We turned to them at the shrines. So if you could take a few off our hands, Dad brought a whole box home for some reason. Then he said that we, they were for me. I don't know what to do with them. P.S. I was so bewildered I couldn't do any practice swings with Samidari. Samidari. Let's see. I suspect last year's Jiro Froggy boom when the organization flaw. Be careful. Look at the Jiro Froggy's main responsible for your father's strange behavior. Uh, you say the stories you tell you paint a very different picture of your father than the impression I got from meeting with him, which is which is the true him, I wonder. That's also true. Um, those are weird looking frog things that were popular with teenage girls in Shuguba in Shibuya last year, right? If I'm not mistaken, they came out with a wide variety of them. Uh, I think it's this one. Send. 
Yeah, it's interesting to add, that's for sure. All right, and then, yeah, like, yeah. Oh, wait, I, let's look at all these. So how many let letters work? What's up? I, it's all good. Bye. I am, hmm. Is that her name in, in, in kanji? So what we've learned from that. <laughs> I don't know if you followed through the whole thing. I might have fast forwarded it. I don't know. Uh, but ultimately what we know is that she was doing your basic experiments. She found out that um, after so many characters, like it just cuts off completely that you don't get any more and it still breaks them up. But I have about three messages max. Um, and it has to do with the amount of bytes that can be sent through and how many characters each byte contains. So that's cool. Huh. <clears throat> Yes, we did. Then Kudusu hides her mouth with her hand as she yawns. <sighs> I agree. I sigh and take a box lunch out of the convenience store bag. It's cold, so I toss into the phone wave and it's subject to change and set the timer normally. I go to casually just use it for normal use as well. She also has a nice hotel nearby, which I I would gander she'd rather go to. <laughs> hey, probably, but hey. <laughs> no, I don't know if it's like yeah, I had a feeling like she was gonna go that route. <laughs> yeah, I think oh great. Given the sweltering heat and the fact that we kept using when the kept the windows closed all night, I bet this place is smelling pretty rank by now. Get some candles. Maybe next <laughs> <laughs> slurps her cup of noodle indignantly. I bought them at her request. She was raised in America, yet she likes cup of noodles? Strange. Hotel bus time. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's That's not creepy at all. <laughs> not a chance. <laughs> now, Chime. Yeah, I thought so. Arigato. Aww, you do, you do have fun. I take my warm food out of the microwave, take a fresh bottle of Dr. P out of the fridge, and join in on lunch. Man, I can use Dr. Pepper right now. No, not Dr. P. I was like, what do you eat? No, I would guess it just it just it's refreshing. Hmm. Oh, I don't know what that there are weird ones, but hang on. What, what universe are you covering? Like, that's, that's a very odd thing to not have ever tried before. Like, I mean, they give it to you at restaurants all the time. Well, I'm up here, Doc, uh, Doc Purian? Doc, Doc Purian? Do our others cola like the typical fat otaku? Hey! I do love my cola. <laughs> and Kudusu lives in America, home with soda. Uh, let's see. What is this tips list? Um, Doc Purian is someone who loves Dr. P above all other beverages, coined by Okarin. Oh, well, no wonder I've never heard of this stupid word. It's completely made up. He's gotta stop that. I take him seriously sometimes. I don't know what he's making up. 
Doc, oh, oh, a doc, uh, a doc Puritan, like, like a almost like a religious Doctor P worshiper. So I admit our opinion is biased, but that doesn't matter right now. So, the Operation Urd no Jikken Seika Nitsite, Konoba de Kento Stemioka. All right. Operation Urd, te? Yep. So, Yeva Kinova, Dogoza no Joshino Sede, Saksen Me or Hiro, Dekina Katano Datana. Kino Yoruka, Kyoni Kaka de Okonavata, D Mail no Renzok Sosin Jikken. Sorega, Operation Urd de Ari. Jikken no Seika Wata. Yay, let's go. She interrupts me again. D Mail Nitsite, Skunakto Monaniga de Kirinoka Wakata. Okay, so I'm glad I didn't have to. I, I, I think I will fast forward, yeah, as you probably saw. Because I, I dissected and looked at all the evidence, but she's going to probably summarize it right here. Gunusu places her empty noodle cup on the table, then retrieves a whiteboard from the development room. While the rest of us eat, she scribbles on the whiteboard and then puts it against the wall. Ooh, nice. I see. Oh, wait, uh, shit, there we go, okay. So, can I make this move? No. Uh, microwave uh, warming function, reverse rotation, microwave opens the warming in progress, timing unconfirmed, discharge phenomena. It sends mail phone, uh, to phone wave nature to change. She actually put it on the board, nice. During discharge, conditions for discharge, 12 o'clock uh, p.m. to 1800 per possibly. The email text limit, it's 12 one byte or six two byte characters. Times three. Oh, so that's you know, each line, like the lines are sent. Any more fails to send. Distance in the past depends on full wave interchange timer input. One second of timer equals one hour into past. Ooh, now that's really good. Awesome. The contents of microwave become jelly bin. Confirm to also teleport. All right, let's go back into it. <clears throat> Nothing especially. She summarizes all the vital parts. Miyuri has her mouth half open in a blank stare. She clearly doesn't understand. D mail de was high day de Abun Sanju Rokumojika. Nihongo Bunju Hachimojiska Okre Nai to you know of Hubendana Kaizen Stai to Kuroda. Fascinating. Furthermore, each D mail is split into 12 character segments. If you send 36 characters, you get three 12 character emails. If you try and send more, everything after the 32nd, 30, 36th character disappears. Now, part, like. Part of me almost wonders, like, is was is this a deliberate thing? Like, is someone trying to use this to send a message? Probably not. But can't help but wonder. Like, anytime you see like a specific limit, like it's probably limited to the bytes. But to, to be so on target, like, it makes me feel like there's more to it. Demo, yeah, that's pretty awesome. So we can only set it to one hour increments. We can control how far back the emails go by using the microwave timer. Right, we have no hypothesis to go for. Well, my guess would be... The microwave could conceivably be considered a miniaturized and very simplified um, CERN like uh, particle accelerator because it uses mag uh, electromagnetic frequencies, electromagnets and electromagnetic waves like microwaves to propel matter into a near light speed. If this process especially with the presence of cre and or creation of Kerr black holes would then allow for a potential particle to fly next to the event horizon to attain whatever and, 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 to, and, and to then enter into a wormhole slash channel somewhere inside that area and then get forced through a funnel wormhole until it goes back to its point of origin per se. Now that's interesting too because like it seems like when they go back in time it goes back in time to like its origin point too like where it was back then as well which is really interesting because remember like with the earth moving and stuff like how is that all factored in we have no idea. Um, 
by simply putting it, by extending the minutes on the timer, it looks like well, I, it's somehow like the amount of electromagnetic energy that's being pushed into this funnel that we created with the curved black holes. The longer the machine is operating, the longer the tunnel is. Somehow. Once again, we're really, really, really out of our league when it comes to trying to explain this like actually mathematically. There's really no foundation to be working on here. That's the best guess I've got. And goodness knows why the the bytes of information are important. Like why are they why can they be sustained and why does the tunnel seem to collapse after so much time when it's sent? And we also there's so many variables too. Gosh darn it, we honestly like if we really want to understand this, this could take years. Like if we had just this machine working and we had a team of scientists 24/7 working on this thing, it'd probably take years before we'd actually have enough evidence to be able to have some definitive conclusions. And we're trying to find something we've only been working with for maybe a day. Like it's ridiculous. Whew. Give me a headache just thinking about it. Yeah, that's the only I'm concerned about too. I don't care that she remains silent. So they may get who has been staring at the ceiling in confusion until now raises her hand. Huh. That's... I guess that's so. Does it have some maybe purity or crystal formations? I don't know. According to Miyuri, the refrozen chicken had indeed become jellified when she tried eating it. Kirisu's prediction was right. Right. But well, how but how does a grain of salt equate to like thirty six bytes of it like not thirty six bytes even it's like three bytes of information or whatever? Curb black hole? Curb black hole. Curb black hole. Curb black hole. Whatever. Interesting. So maybe the, 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 well, that shouldn't affect, like, that shouldn't affect information. Like, if it's literally a physical, like, limitation, then I, maybe that could work with phys physical objects because the physical objects would then be compressed into the channel and that maybe could cause the jellification because all their matter is super compressed but um data like, you can't really compress data you like i mean you kind of can but that's how you make lasers and like if you think about it that's how um fiber optics work it's literally light beams being sent through small glass tubes and sending information at the speed of light like that's what makes them so fast like and and, and remember like these waves, like like microwaves, which is what you're using to send these signals, that's a form of light. They operate on the exact same principles. And if you're, as a matter of fact, the wavelengths of microwaves are massive compared to wavelengths of light. And the, like radio waves, they're big as houses and mountains. Like they, they're huge wavelengths. And so, I don't know if that's really what the limiting factor is. If that is what they're claiming, that doesn't really match up with what I understand of physics. But maybe there's more to it than that. You shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so you're Moving forward. 
リフターの調整がうまくできてないから完全には得意点を裸にできずそのせいで遅れる要領が限定される、mm, I guess it's カラーゲやバナナはともかく全角6文字半角12文字のデータっつうと要領は12バイトだね。So 12 bytes, but that's, that's information. That's, that's so different from physical matter. English characters are half width, so they only use one byte. A full width, Japanese characters are two. バイトキロバイトじゃなくておっとマキセシはメカに弱いタイプと見た。Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a byte and a kilobyte. Like, a kilobyte is a thousand bytes. A byte is a tiny. Like, a thousand, a thousand bytes is a kilobyte. Like, that's a pretty basic. Oh, you're so nice. Byte is a tiny one. I'm so nice. I'm so nice. I'm so nice. I'm so nice. I guess that's true. Like, I, I would probably be clarifying myself as well, but she also, she's no normal sign. She wouldn't understand what kilo means. By the way, one kilobyte is 1024 bytes. Well, like, well, that's not confusing at all. Why is it not exactly a thousand bytes? That's something I didn't know. Learn a thing or two. Oh, oh, because one byte is eight bits. Maybe it's because it's by operatives of eight, and then they get the closest operative. Well, that's the closest operative to eight, but whatever. まあ電子メールは本文テキストだけじゃないけどさ、送信先と送信元のメールアドとかヘッダとかもろもろ込みだともっと増えるけど。目安として12バイト分の文字数なら3回分は転送できるってことじゃねあちなみに、懸命は入れると入れないとでどう変わるかわかんねえ。確かに、カラーゲアバナナをデジタルデータに換算したところで12バイト程度のサイズになるとは思えんな。Oh, of course. By... Wait, guys, uh, they're talking about bytes like they're physical objects. They're not physical objects. How do you measure a banana in bytes anyway? 塩は一つ一つが小さいから12倍と以下と換算された可能性がある。Okay, now we're talking about matter conversion to energy. That is not. What, there's so much more energy in a, in a grain of salt than 12 bytes. That's ridiculous. 質量が大きいと超重力に押しつぶされるっていうこと Okay, that makes sense. 質量ではないかもしれん。データには重さはない。Okay, so we're gonna just talk about that, right? What, what the heck? I didn't say, oh, to quit it, and had a cany dick in I did, and the event horizon or two cases are away. Not good. So no event horizon, I did a cool can to the can no irrecavari no echo de ring joe to quit it, and it all that's the skin shower, chow, co so can it has to look at a chow, joe, look in your or to the salate, hakai salita data go black hole, car, haki da salate shma. Right. Well, it's hard to tell. It's like there's so many other factors that could be involved in this. Like, perhaps it, is, it had less to do with the mass and has to do more with the crystalline structure of the salt. Perhaps it has something to do with the fact that、um, salt. When jellified doesn't actually take on the properties of jellification.、Um, because there's like, the, I mean, there's good examples. Of, like,、uh, a good example of something that defies what would be the usual would be oobleck or you know, cornstarch and water,、uh, where it's a non Newtonian fluid, where it has a, it's, a, it's almost a, it's a liquid like suspension that operates like a liquid until it is. Uh, and, uh, until it, and someone, something applies kinetic force to it. Then the particles arrange themselves into a type of stock or like, almost like linking arms with a bunch of people in a crowd, and suddenly everyone gets, becomes rigid and it becomes like, almost like a solid surface until that kinetic energy is dissipated and then it becomes loose, locked, and liquid like again. That's a perfect example of how sometimes there are things that just defy the rules that nobody, everyone else operates under. So, when you have a data point like, oh, salt doesn't do that, but everything else does, that's a lot bigger than it, making an assumption that, that the reason is that because based on mass, we need more data to figure out that's really true. Anagaki, <sighs> 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 
実験開始から9年経っても解決できていない。And here's another thing, too. Like, from what we've seen, like, it looks like the,、uh, the addition of the electrons might, more, it might have more to do with like, how far the message travels in time and less to do with the size of the tunnels. Like, like I said, it's not, it wouldn't expand the tunnel, it would make it longer. I almost feel like the thing, like, if you wanted to, like, you could send something through that was generating its own magnetic field, that could, become, that could stretch out、uh, the passage, possibly. That's something worth trying. So, 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 そのリフターに代替するものが何なのかすら分かってない。これじゃ、調整以前の問題。I'm, I'm telling you, it must be the microwave that、like, itself, like the thing that emits the microwaves. Like, how else are you going to be injecting energy into this thing? Unless there's something was added to this specific microwave that makes it different from other microwaves. She has a point. リフターに変わるものが何なのか。それは不明だが。少なくともその代替物の効果によりリング得意点に36バイトプラスアルファまでは通り抜け可能な道が作られているのは確かだ。Yeah. よくわかんないよ。ビューリーフィニッシュ with her chicken looks at us in confusion。リング上得意点の入り口である内側のイベントホライゾンを魔王城の門に例えればいい。Hundreds of soldiers attack the heavily fortified demon lord's castle. The soldiers can use magic called Lifter to force the castle gates open, but they can only keep it open for a moment before it closes. During that moment, only 12 soldiers can break through. The soldiers, that can, that the soldiers can only use Lifter magic three times. The 36 soldiers who make it through the gate return triumphantly as the heroes who slew the demon lord. But the soldiers who were left behind are imprisoned by the demon lord's minions. They're taken to the castle's prison cells and turned into slimes. The heroes save them after defeating the demon lord, but unfortunately, they go home as slimes. It's kind of sad. Slime になって帰ってきた騎士さんたちがゼリーマンなんだね Yeah. だが例外もある But there's an exception. The soldiers can combine into a super soldier with the strength and size of a hundred ordinary soldiers. The super soldier has the power to defeat the demon lord alone, but since his body's too big, he can't pass through the gate, even when it's opened by Lifter. And so, deprived of his magic's effectiveness, the, lo- the weakened super soldier is seized by the demon lord's underlings and sent home in defeat as a giant slime. It's a figure of speech. Oh, good job. Like, I'm actually impressed. A good,、uh, a good mark of a good teacher is the ability to disseminate complicated information so that simpler minds can understand it.、Um, and that's not saying, like, and that's the thing, because、like, that's what teaching is all about. It's about taking people from where they are and, and helping them to learn and to grow. And like, that's the crux of teaching. That's what we've all had to go through. And no matter how intelligent you are or feel like you are, you had to take those same steps. We were, we're all born idiots. <laughs> some of us stay that way, some of us don't. A lot of it has to do with our environment, our, our access to education, but ultimately our, our drive and determination to learn and to teach.、Um, so I'm impressed. Like being able to teach people who are really struggling a very complicated process, even if it seems like an odd roundabout way to do it, like teaching through an RPG example, that's good teaching. So? Ocarin no tatoe wa tomokaku. Kore de zeriman no ken wa kaime de kitan jane? Yeah, well, it helps her. That's all that matters. Subete <laughs> mayuri no hinto no okake dana. Mayushi wa yaku ni tatta kana. Of course you were. ああいいひらめきだったぞマユリ<笑>よかったあでもまだ仮説よそれが証明されたわけじゃない、exactly. 証明ってどうやんのセルンと同じように人体実験するん well, I mean, you could start smaller, like、chickens. 
岡部と橋田さんが被験者として志願してくれるなら喜んで実験してあげるけど。Oh, yeah, sounds great. Wait, who's Hashida again? 人体実験ってなんか響きがやばいよね。性的な意味で。Oh, gross, you. だが断る。僕はされる方よりせっかくだからする方を選びたい。あ、ナイス。右に同じ。あ<笑>いや。性的な意味でという部分は。Not the way he means.So <laughs> creepy. バカども。Yeah, both of you.Kedisu gives us a cold stare and it shrugs her shoulders in exasperation. 何度も言うけど、問題はあの電話レンジのどこにリフターに代替する機能があるのかっていうこと。So、それともう一つ。なぜ時間帯によって放電現象やゼリーマン化が起きたり起きなかったりするのかだ。Yeah, that's another really odd one. Like, like, there's really no clear explanation that I can even think of about that. I don't know, but、uh, first, let's find out what you mean by final answer. Abbreviated as FA in Japanese. Use the question Is that your final answer? Like, like a million dollar? Like, who、uh, wants to be a millionaire? Internet slang. Origination of the popular push of c o n s i s t e n c y who want to be millionaires. Yep.、Yeah. Is that your final answer? Da 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 But, like, it's not like the person in the past on that day. It's not like we pulled out our phone that day and saw all these weird text messages, you know? So, like, is it actually impacting the timeline? No, it's not. Or it is impacting the timeline because remember that first message we got at the very beginning was all garbledy gunk?、Um, maybe like that it is, but the thing is that those are spawning multiple, like, fractured universes where our past selves were getting these mysterious messages that said really random stuff. <laughs> it's, it's, that's entirely possible as well. And if that's the case, I'd be careful because we're punching lots of holes in our universe here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a time machine. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a time machine. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a time machine. But still, it's like once again, we're starting to see, it's like we're running to the problems already of like if time travel is real. Because, like, first off, you could do a lot of important stuff and you can send information. Even if you could only send 36 characters to the right person at the right time, that could be the difference between life and death, war and peace. Like, that could change everything. But it seems like these trips to the past don't actually leave an impact. So maybe the only reason a person would be able to do a difference is. Would be because of that, maybe because they like would actually be able to act once they got to the past. I don't know. This is this is stepping into the territory where start where where time travel stories start to fall apart. That's where like the paradox paradoxes really don't mash up. Like, I would be really concerned if we do start if we don't start seeing effects of messages we send into the past. Like, maybe getting a mysterious message from ourselves in the future trying to warn us of something that's coming. That would be a cool twist, but we need to see evidence of like, how that happened and why like, we weren't receiving messages in the past before.、Um, and then, if they do send people into the past, like, why would people be able to infiltrate this timeline without destroying and creating a new universe when text messages couldn't? You see what I'm saying there? Like, the reason why this is going to like, I'm, I'm starting to worry about a potential breakdown in the plot. Like, I'm sure it's a fantastic story, and I'm sure I'll still love it. But this is where it's starting to enter territory as it's science fiction, where it's not accounting for the things that we understand about time. So if it can't offer a good explanation for it, it's going to kind of just fall a little flat. I hope it doesn't, but like, that's my thinking. <sighs> I answer Kudusu's sarcastic question with a nod. しかし俺たちはそれでもタイムトラベルを実現させたデータを過去へと送ったのだ
この電話レンジはもっとちゃんと検証するべきね何が起きてるのか把握しないと Yes, we do D メールをもっといろいろ面白いことに使いたいよな気持ちはわかるが今日は無理だもしまたビルを揺らしたらミスターブラウンから最後通告を出されるだろう、right. He'll raise the rent and kick us out of the lab. 詳細な検証は明日以降に行うだがこれだけは宣言させてくれ yes, let's hear your speech. I step under the couch and look at each lab member in turn. Could you n o 人類史にとって永遠に記憶に残る日となるであろう。Right. August 2nd. なぜなら、今日この日、我ら未来ガジェット研究所は人類史上初のタイムマシン開発に成功したからである人類史上初じゃなくねセルに先越されてたし。It's true. It wasn't successful, but it's definitely working. そもそも開発したとは言えない。偶然使えるようになっただけ。Absolutely a c c i d e n t j o s u a s e r e n d i p t y という言葉を知らないらしいな。ペニシリンに X 線にダイナマイト。その他多くの偉大な発明は偶然から生まれたのだぞ。Um, I'm not sure about X-ray and dynamites. I think they were kind of looking for something like that. But I definitely know that he is absolutely right. Nope, nope, cancel. He absolutely right about penicillin. They had, like, it was like、uh, the dynamite, a nitroglycerin based explosive, invented by Alfred Noble in 1866.、Um, X ray type elect electromagnetic wave discovered by Wilhelm Rotgen in 19,、uh, 1895. Finished by application of medicine. And penicillin, the world's first antibiotic discovered in, in 1929.、Um, so I don't know the stories of X ray dynamite personally, so I can't say, but the penicillin,、um, it's grown from a fungus. Uh, that was developed in a laboratory when someone left out petri dishes with samples overnight that they weren't supposed to, and it contaminated the test that they were trying to perform. But、uh, found the, the mysterious substance of penicillin, did some tests with it, and found that it like, obliterated all、uh, everything <laughs>、um, and was able to destroy viruses, which was a huge breakthrough. Does it, does, I know it destroys all bacteria. And like microbes in general. I'm pretty sure it does viruses too. Or at least. Yeah, I don't know. Like, moving on. I don't know enough about that. So, it was so that it all. Hey, ma. Christian, the time machine, not the night. Kono my way, get a yo. Ima, I'll let them to me. Yes, yes, she does. Ima no tokoro, me to me, Zaru, or ena, it, the dake. 原理を究明していけばもしかしたらタイムマシンとは似ても似つかないまがいものかもしれない It's true けどいつもこいつも俺の堂々たる宣言に敬意すら払わんとは No we don't Once again though Kid she's got a good point because like I was pointing out if it were genuine time travel wouldn't we have seen those messages before we sent them? It's on our phone on that date Did they actually arrive on that day? No They're time stamped for that day So That doesn't really seem like true time travel to me. It's a great step in the right direction and it could be real, but I have my doubts. Jinri Shijo Hatno. Aya, Shijo Niban Mekamo Shirenaiga. Time Machine Kai Hatno, eh? Kono Rega Hitrijimistemo. Atomoko Yuanai Kotodana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kono Dai Rokjuro Kai and Takai Giva Ijoda. Kai Sam! Dismissed. Chop! <laughs> 今のって円卓会議だったん知らんかったしかも66回って円卓だろうが何だろうがどうでもいいわケルシー gets off her chair and stretches 帰ってシャワー浴びて寝る Sounds good man I'm jealous マヨシーはもうすぐバイトなのです 
I'm incredibly tired too. Let's just sleep today. But when I lay down, I find myself unable to sleep. Though part of me is still frightened by the dark secrets we've uncovered, the curiosity and excitement are too much to bear. We've built a machine that can send emails to the past. It's like a dream, but it's real, and it's ours. For now. As I start thinking of ways to use it, my imagination spreads out to infinity, driving the last vestiges of fear from my mind. Oh, we should be afraid. We really should be afraid. Interesting. I'm standing in absolute darkness. How long have I been here? I can't remember. I can't move. I can't feel. I can't see. The world is empty. What the heck, Kurisu? A voice resounds in the blackness, as if whispering in my ear, as if screaming from far away, as if dozens of people around me are speaking at once. Where am I? Yeah? Uh oh. Um, that's, that's, that's not a good thing to, that's not a good place to be, without knowing why. Jeez. Suddenly the darkness is dispelled. What the? An ocean of stars fills the heavens. The sight is breathtakingly beautiful. However, one point in space lacks stars. I notice that point. I stare at that point. My body starts to fall. I'm falling through the sea of stars. No, not falling. I'm being pulled. Pulled into a rift of utter blackness from which not even light can escape. In an instant, my consciousness has exceeded the speed of light. Stars flash past and vanish from sight. Light itself is but dust in my wake. Logic screams that this cannot be. Nothing can move faster than light. That would contradict the theory of relativity. It's space that's moving. That voice again. It comes from behind, overtaking my faster than light consciousness. At the same time, it seems to lie in wait at my destination. Why do I hear Christina's voice? Those same words. Wait, space and time switch places. You're not moving. If space and time have switched places, and you exist in a three-dimensional time space, and space or matter, so if we're flipping those two, this is, this is okay. This is bending my brain. Okay, so <laughs> time is in the three is, instead of being a linear, well, linear, omnipresent progression of cause and effect becomes three-dimensional space. So moving in directions changes your place in time and space. Well, in time and, and space, because they're tied. But space operates in a linear progression. You can go back and forward. I probably knew. You can go back and forward across the space. No, you can go back and forward across time. And space is static. Space never moves, or moves. It moves at a consistent rate always. But but your place in time does not. Fascinating. Interesting. I'm gonna have to think about this one. This is something I have to write out because that's very interesting. Okay, let's move on. Anta. Can't move through space because in like this world we can't move through time. Anta no 
引き伸ばされているのよ。I accelerate. I can hardly breathe. It feels like something is crushing my body. Anta no ichibio wa watashi ni wa eien to naru. And now the real question. If that is Kiritu we're hearing, and she exists in this realm now. Has she become some kind of guardian of time? Is she potentially going to sacrifice herself to try and prevent CERN from accomplishing its desires? Is she somehow going to become a gatekeeper existing outside of space time as we know it? As I observe you from a distance, I see you as a still object. That's what it would look like if you watch something fall into a black hole. They would start to fall, and it seemed they'd slow, they'd slow, then they'd seem to stop. And then tell their. would just fade as the light stopped reaching you. I fall. I'm pulled to the depths of the dark. Or perhaps to the end of the universe. But even beyond the speed of light, I'll never reach it. Am I looping? No, that's not it. Is the end running away from me? That's not it either. Stretching. What is stretching? Space? Me? Both. Don't look back. Eternity is not infinite. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, that's creepy. That, oh my gosh. Time stretches towards eternity. It, but it does have an end. Something approaches. It approaches slowly, a stark contrast to the stars flashing past. Is it really approaching? It looks like it's standing still. It's slowly, slowness gives it that illusion. I don't know what it is, but it's something. Event horizon. Right. I tried to reach towards it, but my hand won't move. But how could you not? I'm slowing to a stop. But still, I keep falling. The end never comes. An, isom an isometopic approaches to zero. Oh, an asymptote approaches zero. When will the second pass? They have switched. A second stretched out to infinity. One second becomes 0 0.1 seconds. 1.1 seconds becomes 0 0.01 0 .01 seconds. 0 0.01 seconds becomes 0 0 0.001 seconds. 0 0 0.0001 0 0 seconds. 0 0 0 0 0 0.0001 seconds. 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0.0001 seconds. And again, and again, and again. When will I arrive? Never. Gradually, time shortens. Gradually, my perception of time lengthens. Face forward, struggle on. No matter how close I get, I can never reach. To the demon lord's gate. Suddenly, her words take on an amused tone. The demon lord's gate. Don't have the key. I'll lift her. I try to shout, but my mouth won't move. I mustn't look back. 
魔王の手下に捕らえられる Oh no, not the jellyman. Pictures from the jellyman's report flicker through my brain. My body. Don't look back. I want to look back. I want to go back. Can't look back. Can't go back. Can I ask this my phone? No. I face towards the thing. I face the future of becoming a jellyman. While frozen for eternity. What the fetch is going on? What was that? But we don't have any more time. I, I, I have a lot to think about.、Um, I'm trying to imagine switching places with time and space. That's an insane thing to think about. Right. Okay. But anyway, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being a part of this, this adventure today. Oof, this is going to be a fun one. I'll, yeah, I'll let you know if I have any thoughts on this subject next week. I probably will. I don't know if they'll make sense, but they'll be thoughts. But as, that ending was a little disconcerting. I was really enjoying everything, and it was kind of going along like normal, but that ending, it's got me asking more questions than ever. Like, was that just a dream? Or was that actually. Because that's the thing. It's like, if our character. Right, I have a theory that he has experienced a phase shift. I think he went from one universe to another. I also think that sometime we are going to travel in time because I feel like we're getting echoes of that event. We feel it somehow. And I think this dream could have been a manifestation of that, some kind of echo of what will be. Because remember, time and space aren't quite the same over there. And so it,、uh, it's entirely possible that things will bleed through,、uh, through the cracks, you, you could say. But anyway. I'll find out later, I suppose. So, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for being part of the channel. You guys are so much fun to be around. I love having your comments. I love hearing your thoughts. I can't wait to see more of them. So, until the next video you watch with me, or whatever you see me in next, I'll see you there.